Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your message you need to hear for October, no, September 26th through October 25th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to 13 Signs Tarot. Much love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support as well. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Sagittarius, what do we got? The Magician. Okay, so that could be Gemini or Virgo. Um, this is having things at your disposal. Disposal, not disposable. <laughs> disposal and uh, taking initiative, enacting, manifesting, making it happen, finding ways, re being resourceful, that sort of thing. All right. So what do we got for Sagittarius? Some message Sagittarius needs to hear. Maybe there's something you want to get off the ground. Big project, big relationship. Six of Wands, yay. That's a good sign, right? The World. Five of Wands, the Magician. There's that Magician again. Judgment. Okay, so we got judgment in the world. Mm. Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. Nine of Wands. Strength, that's Leo. And Ace of Pentacles. Let me get all this out of the way here. All right. Hmm. So, is this about an ending where it was just like, you know what, I'm just, I'm kind of on the fence about something, don't know what I want. Maybe there's been some bickering and you're just feeling like you really need to be under yourself. You're relying on friends. Um, whatever ending has happened, or maybe you're at the crossroads, but it's, this is interesting. Six of wands in the world, and then we got judgment over here. Why? One, two, three, four. Okay. Right, not too shabby. Okay, so uh, it's like you're at the crossroads or you've reached like a really pivotal uh, time right now because we've got four major arcana. So it's, this is pretty, pretty pivotal. Like it's, it's, this is an important stage in your life. Like this is kind of bookmarking something. So it looks like even though there might have been an ending, it looks like you're kind of approaching an ending and there might be a decision like, okay, well, what do we want to do about this? How do we want to handle this? Not really that it's like underway just yet. Why is it crooked like that? Okay. So what? Which one is it? Then we got six of ones and five of ones. Which one is it? <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. What's this five of ones about? For Sagittarius, what's this five of ones about? Nine of Wands, just like right here. What's this Magician about? Knight of Wands, that could be Leo. What's this Judgment about? Ten of Wands, what? So is this someone that's Did they just get tired of the drama? And they're like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna head out. You know, I'll be on my way now. Um, hmm. A lot going on. What's this Nine of Wands about? Here's, the, okay, is this, is this a back and forth between you two? Is this, is, what's this strength card about? Magician. There's that magician that fell out earlier. Here's the thing. This is somebody that feels like they have tried quite a bit and they just couldn't take the, the power struggle or the bickering or the drama but it looks like they're coming back again. 
because it's for it's funny the very thing that made them leave or want to you know just walk away in a huff and whatever is the very thing that's going to bring them back because they don't like the way they, they feel like there's unfinished business part of it is because oh they don't want you to be mad at them they don't like the way things were left but they it could very well too be that there's unfinished business because they're still holding out hope that there's um that their things are finally going to level out between you two we got the ace of pentacles and we got strength here so this is someone that's for as much drama as there has been and how just a lot of high maintenance type issues there have been they're also thinking that this once things level out things will be really good like okay we have to have been working towards something it can't just be all for naught that like that this is going to be the constant state of our relationship it's just drama and um you know a power struggle and and us bickering it's like it's got to be it's it's got to be for other reasons than just that's the natural state or our default state I think they're really hoping that this drama could be um, because of outside things just being really hectic and busy, kind of the world closing in, and you two just haven't had, been able to have a break, or maybe you haven't been able to have a break. But they, they're really hoping that it's because of external situations uh, instead of it being just in someone's nature to be difficult or demanding or, you know, to bicker, that sort of thing. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? This Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. What's this world card about? Knight of Pentacles. So is it things ended because of a lack of security or they're about to end because someone is too controlling or not wanting to commit? But it, it doesn't feel like things have ended yet. If they have, it's negotiable. This isn't... I mean, it, on the one hand, it could have been that things just got so heated and someone just got fed up that they walked away. But that's going to be the very thing that brings them back because they're going to... They're going to um, attribute it to them being upset and I shouldn't have said the things I said or, well, I was just mad. But let's just talk. Do we really want to end things? Do we really want to do this? So I feel like there's been some kind of like rift but it's still negotiable. And I think this person wants the connection, but they feel like a lot of things are high maintenance. Like there's so much involved right now. And, and yet the, there's the hope that this is um, situational, that this is not just because the relationship is high maintenance. Um, it's just because there's just got a lot of things going on right now. And maybe, you know, you've got a lot of things in the works. Um, Maybe they want to tell you that, look, I'll support that, but I got to be on your team. You can't be fighting against me too. You know what I mean? Hmm. Okay. Like, look, you know, we'll, we can do this, but I have to know that we're going to be working together, not that you're going to be trying to manage me also. Yeah, because it looks like they're trying to figure out how to move past this. Whether it means moving on from you or moving on with you. They're still they're still at the crossroads. They're trying to figure out and understand, like, is this really the end or can we find a way to work through this together? Is it simply just going to really be just too much work? It's like just a burden at some point? Me having to always be the supplicant or me always having to kind of accommodate? Or can we kind of move past that and be on the same page? And I think they want to revisit this breakup or break whatever with you to see. Um, they, they would like things to be much more um, consistent and even keel. And I think they're still holding out hope that there's a lot going on in your life right now rather than this is just something that's really high maintenance, period. Okay. I think if, I, I think this is, yeah, I think they're really wanting to know that you, you normally would be in a different state of mind per se, that you are patient, that things are stable, that there's a capacity for that because things have been, 
for them, they feel like things have been pretty hectic. And it's that things being tense all the time, things being so like heavily laden all the time, it's, it's, it's what drove them away. But it's also gonna wanna make them, or it's also what's making them come back because they're gonna wanna help. They're wondering if there's a chance that, okay, will this end soon? Is there any way I can help this? Are you and I gonna be in agreement on a lot of stuff once this situation resolves itself? Like, is it is it that that's stressful or... So I think that's why they come back is because they wanna know what's what. And I, I think what they're looking for is to be told that, yeah, once this, whatever situation is, passes, things will calm down and we can, you know, we can explain or we can have a couple of heart to hearts and figure this out, that sort of thing. What else for Sagittarius? Golly, look at that. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. Holy cow. So this is someone, it, it's it, it's a mix of both. It's someone that's fed up, probably mad, probably frustrated. But at the same time, this is someone that is loyal. There's a loyalty there. Um, and they really do want this to work. But the issue is about things finally calming down and being secure. You got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here. The, this is someone that after all is said and done, we'll show back up, even though this is happening and it's kind of built up to this fever pitch, they'll, they'll show up if there's the hope, if there's still hope that, you know, it can finally resolve and you two can get back to connecting emotionally and being a couple, being connected. Because I think there's this feeling that they're just kind of set adrift or it's just like they're they're lumped in with everything and everyone else in your life right now it's like you know i i should be special i should be right there by your side helping you you shouldn't be you know an antagonistic with me also do you know what i mean all right what did i do okay i'm gonna do this one no yes no. what would they say to sag what would sagittarius this person say to them Sagittarius is person say to them. I need more time to figure things out. Fair enough. All right. So I think that speaks to them not wanting to throw in the towel just yet and why they come back. So there's been this rift, but then, or you guys are still bickering, but there's not been a final, final break. I mean, we got the world, Wheel of Fortune here and we got the world, but I'm telling you, it's still up in the air. They're, they're not convinced that this needs to be done. And let's be honest, I don't think they want it to be done. I think they miss you or that part of you where you two used to really connect, probably physically, but also emotionally. You, there was, you, you two were in sync. Um, there was a, a synchronistic quality. There was emotional connection at one point and I think they're wanting to get that back. They miss that. And they're wanting to know that there's still the potential for that once whatever, hopefully this situation blows over. All right. Uh, why not? What else for Sagittarius? So we got tidal wave and disturbance. Okay. Let me clean this up here. <laughs> Just laying everything all out over the place. Tidal wave and disturbance. There we go. Okay. This doesn't feel um, unexpected like I would think that would be. I think this is more about it's kind of like this barrage that's like never ending. It's kind of just like, what now? It's like an onslaught. It's like just a constant, we got the nine of wands three times. We got the 10 of wands here. And it's like, at what point do we just call it? Or at what point there's just, there's something constantly coming for this relationship, coming at it, like interfering, getting in the way. Something's always having to be, um, and then that causes bickering between you two, whoopsie. 
So, yeah, tidal wave disturbance. Something's not right. Something needs to be resolved. They don't want to live in this constant state of struggle and... Uh, What else for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius? All right. So we've got Knight of Cups reversed, and we've got. Here I go with the book again. Let me see. Hold on. I should just put a picture up. Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so this is... It could be that there's no offer coming, right? That there's... But it also could be that this is... This is someone who is emotional. It could be Scorpio. But this speaks to someone that's kind of emotionally volatile or kind of um, gets angry at the drop of a hat. Someone that could be moody. Someone that could be manipulative. Um, unrealistic about, you know, a romantic partner's obligations or just having unrealistic expectations. Um, someone that's kind of jealous, moody, emotionally up and down, hot, cold, that sort of thing. Um, it could also be someone that doesn't want an emotional connection. They just want the companionship or the physical side of things. The seven of swords reverse speaks to either breaking out of that like someone wants to get out of that situation. Like, you know, I, I want to leave that behind. Um, it could also speak to someone wanting to discuss, like, leave, you know, instead of having to be stealthy and kind of skirt around the bush or sneak around whatever the saying is, this is someone that wants to air grievances and get it out in the open about what the heck is going on. Why is it so volatile? Why are things like this? This is someone that wants to have it out. So, it's, I mean, we've got all these nine of wands here. It's like showing back up to figure out what the heck's going on. Why is it like this? Like, why, why so many challenges? We need to sit and talk about this and clear the air. No sneakiness, no games, no being cagey. Let's have it out. Let's do this. All right. I hope this was helpful. This person doesn't want to give up on this or you. I think they, I honestly think that they want to believe that whatever's going on, they can help with. So if you're, you know, willing to do that, I think they, they do want to help. All right. I hope this was helpful because, you know, it's, look at this. we got the nine of wands still showing up and wanting to carry this load. And maybe that would be the key to the reconciliation or for them to realize, you know what, it all is not lost. We still can find a way back to each other if you're interested. But they, they're probably going to insist on carrying the load or helping, helping you carry it. Or being a part of resolving it because they just they feel like an outsider they feel like there's like nothing they can do to kind of affect whether things are going to stabilize or not they, they just all right okay shutting up i hope this was helpful sagittarius um i hope you two are able to find resolution with this and i hope to see you in the next reading you take care